Good afternoon. May the 21st, 2015. Time to wrap it up for the many. Uh, this morning we came in. Uh, we had Newsday trading. Bad news was good news, as usual. So uh, all the numbers, uh, except for leading economic indicators, came in worse than forecasts, showing economic slowing. And uh, the E-mini just rallied. It was a buy. Very, very slow trading. You can see here very, very low vo volume. Uh, the market is in the hands of large traders and they're playing the script of bad news is good news by indexes and that's exactly what happened. Our resistance begins in the 31-33 area. That's where uh, we've had several uh, recent highs and uh, right now we've got really good support at 25. Uh, we came in hoping to buy 15s to 17s. The first sell was in the 25 area and right here was the first selling opportunity and we took a live trade right there and took a while but we stopped out so move pause move get a little selling here but we're not able to crack 25 and uh, the market looks like it's going to close in the 28 area give or take uh, so we have a strong market it's it's higher not for the right historical reasons but it's higher because the strategy since March of 2009 is the Fed is going to cut interest rates going to pump money into the market um, there's only one place for some of that money to go and that's the uh, stock market and we're buyers um, lower high lower low so F1 screen says this market can sell tomorrow it is the end of the week uh, start of a three-day weekend we might see some profit taking as the biggest dynamic. The uh, F2 screen definitely a P. Uh, J period we got a move out of the middle we weren't able to break 25. Uh, after lunch we said if 24, 25 holds up uh, the market can still trade higher and that's pretty much what's happened. But the market is to close right here where sellers in the 30 area. The sell failure to take out 30, 32 that's the easiest trade to see. Uh, given how slow the activity is stops above 35 would be the next place to get short on the buy side uh, assuming we close here at 2675 uh, 2325 will be buy one and then uh, 16 to 18 will be buy two Looking at the note, strong. Uh, the note and the bond are up for the right reasons. Weak economics. Numbers. Um, and again, especially for most of us get into trading um, because we've got a, a fondness for economic information, economic news. We follow it. We follow the economy. We follow business. Uh, we're pretty well schooled in fundamentals. And then we get into futures and we hear, you know, fundamentals. Um, you can't trade off of fundamentals and you can't um, by themselves. Eventually fundamentals will uh, change, will uh, impact the market the way they're supposed to, but not on any given day. Uh, and in the financials and gold and the euro, weak economic numbers bring the correct response historically uh, and strong economic numbers bring the right response and to me that removes uh, some of the uncertainty and some of the angst in trading. Uh, the market uh, maybe 128 is where resistance is right now but this screen right here tells us we're buyers for the note coming into tomorrow we want to buy into weakness to see if they can take out uh, the existing high and ultimately one about 12804. Looking at the F2 screen, uh, very very strong P. So selling failure to take out 2428. 
then 31 to 03 for cell 2. Now we do have some news tomorrow. Uh, we've got CPI plus a tenth and core plus a tenth. Uh, given the lack of news, uh, these numbers could cause a reaction. And we have had uh, inflation numbers cause reactions here in the last month. So uh, there's a possibility this could stir up the market. But PPI is the leading indicator for inflation. CPI is the lagging indicator. And the uh, PPI has been friendly for inflation so far. 22 and a half, this move up and out came out of the 16 area. Um, I'd like to buy 13s to 17s. Let it come back lean against this high volume number. If the E-mini spills this afternoon, maybe 21s to get in. Hard to say. And 5 to 9, where we were this um, this morning, we'd hoped to buy 5s. The low was 5.5. So pretty strong market, very, very strong close. Um, the ideal trading situation would be a correction and uh, try to buy it in London in seventh, at the 17 area. Looking at the 30-year, uh, the knob spread expanded a bunch. Uh, we started off this morning with the knob spread at 25.25, and it went out at 26.21, and that's the extra buying that we see in the 30-year. Um, knob expansion, knob contraction are adding an extra point onto the 30 years trading range that we haven't seen you know, up until this last couple of months. So a very, very strong market, as you can see right here. So selling failure to take out 12 to 16. First trade, then 27 to 31 if we get through that. On the buy side, that came out 29. Uh, last rotate down stopped at 6, so stops beneath that. 1 to 5, buy 1. And then 25, 29 for buy 2. Gold. My goodness, what a quiet day. Laramie said a lot of selling came in late into gold. Size orders. And a lot of that's probably the ETF. Um, uh, they start to balance out those positions that they need at the close of uh, any day, but that may not have been all of that. It may not have been the entire reason for the selling. Uh, the market, we said, structurally was pointed lower, so we thought we had a pretty good shot of getting down to the 95, 97 area. Lower high, lower low. F1 screen says find a place to sell it. Um, while it's a B pattern, uh, we rejected prices. Um, and we have been rejecting prices below 03. And uh, so far that's holding up, so... Support is at 1,200 plus or minus. That's buy one. And 95, 97, buy two. I can't see anything fundamentally out there that would make the uh, retail account sell gold. Uh, on the uh, sell side, um, 8 to 10. And then 13 to 15. It's just where resistance and support are. Uh, we're playing for a little lower because volume moved lower in today's distribution, but uh, we'll have to. Uh, you in London will get the first take on that market. And if we can't take out the day session low and we start to trade up, you're going to have to trade from the long side or with some patience from the short side, let the market come to you.
Okay, crude, a very, very strong market, and here we are. Definitely a seller over 62. Last high was 61.66, so 61.50 to 62 and a quarter is a sell zone. Um, selling into 61, I think, is probably the trade off for this uh, if we don't get follow through buying in London. So I think it'll set up for us in London. Strong profile to the upside. So selling failure to take out the 61 area. And the next stop will be 50 to 75. Uh, on the buy side, 60 to 60 and a quarter. And then our 59.50, 59.75. Choppy market in a trading range. Definitely a seller run 61.50. Definitely a buyer on the 58.50-59 area. And that's where we find ourselves right now. Okay, the F1 screen maintains perspective. You can see right here we had this breakout from 10 and a half, and it's holding. So we got a higher low, higher high. Uh, we definitely have sellers here in the 112 area, and we're at 1126. So market is trying to sell, but we haven't broken anything down yet. So looks like there's reasonably good support 1050 to 11 and resistance 1175 to 12 even and we're looking at a D right now and that usually yields a trading range so this 50 to 75 area maybe get them get stops above 50 uh, buying 111 maybe stops beneath that 1075 for buy two. Choppy market, start of a three day holiday for us. May not have a lot of activity tomorrow. I'm sure there'll be more supposition about what comes next for Greece, but everybody's kind of circled the uh, June 5th date now. I'm sure when we get to June 5th, they'll find some reason, some way to get it into July. Uh, neither side wants this to, neither side wants to pay for what's got to come. And they're doing, they're delaying that as long as possible. Hey, that's it for May the 21st, 2015. I will see you all bright and early in the morning. You all have a great evening. Your line is now muted.